Rex, have you been involved like fr from day one or, you know, Sean, did you and Mike kind of kick this thing off and a couple of years into it, you guys started going on hunts together or, or how did that work? I'll let Sean explain it. Let's see how he explains it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we were all, Mike and I hunted together. Um, I mean, I grew up hunting, obviously, with my dad. He's sure. the one that taught me um, how to hunt and, and um, got me into it and all that. But um, Mike and I started hunting together and we're filming each other. Um, so that's kind of like what what sparked the whole um, video aspect of it. And then um, I guess as we start, kept going, that would be, eh, I'd say like pretty much right after that, after Mike and I started, then we started hunting with with my dad with a camera as well. And I'd say we all, all three of us were pretty much kind of going together at that point. Um, especially since my dad was the, for the most part, the property owner of a lot, some of the stuff that we were hunting. And so we incorporated him with the videoing, um, because he was so into bow hunting as well. And then, um, from there, it's just kind of, kind of kept the same stride and, um, you know, his interest in, in hunting and, and all that and bow hunting and the level of, um, experiences is, is up there with us as well and so yeah we've just all kind of kind of stayed hunting together and, and filming one another since the beginning pretty much i i, I have to wonder like um because you know rex when you're talking about kind of the way that you grew up and you know that's how like and i'm sure sean you're the same way like i remember you know i don't know probably in my teens or something like that you know watching like TNN on like a Sunday night and it's like, you know, the standards, right? Real tree, Buckmasters, like that that's yeah, you know, that was prior or or early in the OSG days that, you know, outdoor and sportsman's channel even existed. And, you know, to that point, like uh, I remember like some of those things, like you got excited for those things, but then you started to see this this shift in terms of, you know, when outdoors uh channel and sportsman's channel kind of came along. Um you know, I guess, Sean, on your side, when you and Mike started to think about that, uh, you know, I filmed just because I don't know why I did it. I, I, I wanted to kind of like be able to relive some of those hunts, I guess, that I was doing to, to your dad's point, like by myself. Um, but I guess at what point did it kind of click that you were like, well, we should do something different? Yeah, so... Um that's the exact same reason that we started filming. In fact, I think it was Mike that was the one that was really bringing a camera along. He, he strapped a handy cam to a stabilizer. I remember <laughs> when we were, yeah, when we were in high yeah. school and uh, he would get some videos of him shooting um, some does with that. And I think that's what really kind of sparked it, the video aspect. And then we started hunting together, saw him here and there, like turkey hunting and we'd film each other. And then, um, it just got, you know, gradually got a little more serious, but there was never in the beginning for sure. There was never any like motive to be like, Oh, we're going to turn this into a show or whatever. Right. Um, but like, like my dad said, I think what, what Trevor um, kind of incorporated into what we were already doing is what really sparked the interest to have like something like legitimate and, and knew that we had um, really like a niche in the market and um, just something that was outside the box compared to what was already there. So mm -hmm. that's what, that's what really pushed along, I feel like. But I think what's interesting about the way that you guys looked at it is, you know, and, and maybe that's where the Trevor piece came in is it really started to involve more like a story or a journey. Yeah. So early in it, you know, when I had those thoughts of this isn't appealing, so to speak. And as we gained more and more traction, I remember Sean or Mike or both of them, forwarding on emails from feedback and, and we had a lot of people and I'm not just talking one or two would send in comments that they ran across the show they don't even hunt but they enjoyed the cinematography of it so much that they just they just started watching it mm -hmm. and then you know people wanting to learn how to get into hunting so I, I think a lot of that I, you know I look at it and go, I tell people I think we put as much emphasis on the video side of it as we do the hunting side. I mean, Sean will tell you that. I think he enjoys that as much as hunting. He really does. I mean, being behind the camera as much. And uh, so I think that is what where a lot of people and what's really changed it. The old hunting shows, I you know, they're still fun to watch and everything else. But I think, you know, I look at it and go today's generation. I won't, you know, 
I say they're different, you know, mm-hmm. is it because there's more kids college educated and so on and so speak. And I can see right through, you know, the old platform, so to speak. But I just, I, I think the, everybody wanted to see the story side of it. And also that hunting's not just a, you know, two week or three month part of the year. It's a year round activity. And uh, this is what we do. And this is what, and a lot of people do it. People mm-hmm. are getting more into not just the going out for two weeks rifle hunting. Uh, they want to get into that shed hunting, you know, land management's become so big now and uh, what you can do with it. And it's, I enjoy it as much as I do hunting, you know? So I think that's where our show kind of everybody started seeing that and they, they gained an interest in it. 